Well, moving out of your comfort zone, leaving warm blanket in cold weather, it's not easy. But this is the life of landscape photographers. So I stopped over a petrol station, I need to get some hot chocolate and the battery for my remote. I was really in need of a hot chocolate. Uh, well people mostly ask me that please disclose the locations uh, wherever you are. So today uh, I'm moving towards Fujera and uh, basically to Al Akka beach and I'll do some seascapes there. And mostly I don't disclose the locations and there is reason behind that when you disclose the location and visit next time you see a lot of trash there. So that is the reason that uh, I mostly don't disclose the locations I mean the natural places the people they, they just ruin the places you know and it really hurts me. Very good morning from Fujira Beach. I'm running out of time because I lose the color on sky. This is what I wanted and I traveled 100 plus kilometers for it. So let's start shooting, yeah? I'll talk about the camera setting later as I'm running out of time and I need to start shooting as soon as possible. Beautiful. I'll have to change my composition quickly because I can see there is very beautiful rock and water is hitting that.
the color on the sky stays for very short time. Uh, when it is dark and sun is uh, not on the horizon, even below that, that is what happens, the color, color appears on the sky. Uh, the water is just completely wet, my feet are completely wet. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I was talking about the colors on the sky. Hey folks, good morning from Fujira Beach. The sea has been calling me for a long time and I had to answer. I travel 100 plus kilometers from Dubai towards Fujira uh, to capture uh, the sunrise. Uh, luckily I got some good colors on the sky and I shot maximum images and so see that uh, what was the good image to be processed. So basically that's my strategy. I, I, I shoot maximum images and uh, see later uh, on my computer that what is the good image to be processed. Uh, I couldn't speak much about uh, the camera setting and the colors on the sky and, and, and all other stuff like the location ATC uh, because I was, yes, I was busy in shooting and I was trying uh, to capture the maximum images. Uh, luckily we got some good images and uh, let's see that how it goes on after processing. Uh, the, sea, the seascapes, they are a bit tricky and uh, the colors, uh, they appear on the sky uh, for, uh, for a very short time I can say. Uh, because when the sun is below the horizon, that's the only time when the colors they appear on the sky. As the sun comes up on the sky, the sky is, uh, becomes completely bright and uh, you know the color uh, they disappear. So this is what happened at the moment, uh, the sky is uh, more bright, uh, it's completely illuminated and uh, yeah, there, there are no more colors on the sky. Uh, I got some good pictures, I found some good rocks there when the water was hitting to those rocks. And uh, you know, uh, I was getting a very milky uh, effect of the water. So let's see that how uh, that goes on in, in the processing. The other thing I would like to mention about uh, the Fujira beach, there was very good beach which is uh, close by the authorities. Uh, the rocks were really beautiful but that beach uh, unfortunately it is closed and uh, we are not able to shoot there anymore. Uh, that's, the, that's the general beach of the, uh, that's the, that's the general beach of Fujera. The most of the photographers they come here. There is nothing to hide about this place. It's very famous. Everyone is aware about it. Uh, that's all. That how do you find your composition? The most important thing is the composition in the photography. As I mentioned in my article on my website, that's published on my website, and the link is given below in the description. Uh, the title of uh, that art, art article is that uh, how to make your images eye-catching. Please don't miss that article, read it, uh, that might help you. Uh, the other thing is that yes, that article is for the beginners, not for the pro photographers, the pro landscape photographers, uh, because yes, I, I, I know my level where I am, you know. So yes, that might be helpful for the beginners, I can say. Uh, well, that's all uh, from the sunrise shoot. Uh, we'll see that what happens uh, in the post processing. I'm closing with the same request that please subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the bell icon. I'm planning more episodes in the landscape photography but you know uh, as I'm commercial photographer uh, so I do have other stuff to do. I mean the commercial projects, uh, the filming and the photography and the processing and there's, there's a lot of things to do. But uh, yes, I will try my level best to uh, uh, post as much as I can in, on the YouTube channel about the landscape photography, about the wilderness of uh, UAE and uh, you know, all, all other stuff. Basically, the, uh, the mixed thing I'm trying to 
uh, add more stuff in the landscape photography so if you guys are interested to see my episodes please don't miss subscribe my youtube channel and activate the bell icon uh, i'll see you in next episode till then goodbye mm -hmm.